So here I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I prepared for Eid on Janrat, that is the night before Eid. And here I'm just making lasagna because my family asked me to make lasagna, my brothers love my lasagna. I got this food processor a few weeks ago and it just makes shredding cheese so much easier and I just wanted to show you quickly how I did that. And then I just uh, cooked up some ground beef, sometimes I use chicken, sometimes I use beef and by no means is this a uh, traditional Italian lasagna, it is just what my family prefers i just added some mushrooms and green onions and these are the sauces that i had on hand so that went in next the day before eid kind of always gets very hectic so of course i went in and grabbed a cup of coffee to keep me going and then i finished up the meat sauce for the lasagna i like to prepare the lasagna a day before it's just one of those things that works perfectly the night before it freezes really well too so i went ahead and prepped this the night before and my kids really wanted lasagna well i was cooking this because everything smells so good so i went ahead and made them some spaghetti and used the same meat sauce and i'm just finishing up the sauce here added some cottage cheese i'm making a three cheese lasagna and just quickly showing you here what the kids ate. This is the weather we're getting on Chandra today. Just so much rain, heavy rain all day long. I love the rain, so I'm watching it from my window as I get some work done. I had such a long to-do list today, so I just did the cooking. I left the meat sauce to cool before I go in and do the layers. Then I went ahead and did the girls henna, and it turned out really nice. They love to pick their own designs, so that's what I did for them. I also braided their hair because I just don't get time to do their hair on Eid day, so they're just gonna sleep on this and it's gonna give them a nice hairstyle for Eid day. And next up, I am going to make my platters. I love making these little Eid platters to gift to family, friends, and neighbors. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm not sure if you guys checked out my last Eid video, but if you did, you know that I did a uh, Eid platter with a lot of baked goods from Costco. But this time around, I thought I'd do some chocolates and candies. So just got a few over here. This was a really last minute thing I decided to do. For some reason, we we don't celebrate Eid al Adha as big as we celebrate Eid al Fitr here. I'm not sure if that's like with every family, but just in general with our family. Um, like I said, if you checked out my previous video, you know that for Eid al Fitr, we do like gifts and a whole lot of decorations. And I did these really nice big platters. This time around, I'm just trying to figure out everything very last minute. So I did pick up these chocolates and candies when I was in Walmart shopping for groceries. I figured that I didn't have enough candies and chocolates to fill up the whole plate. So I was going to put some Timbits in the center. My husband was actually already out. So I asked him to pick up some Timbits on his way back home. So meanwhile, I finished up the rest of the lasagna. The meat sauce was finally done cooling. I didn't want to assemble the lasagna while the meat sauce was hot. I didn't want the cheese to melt so here i am putting it all together and my mini helpers are helping me do this unlike in muslim countries sometimes eid in canada just does not feel like eid so i love doing these little things with the kids just to get them excited Yay, the lasagna is finally done. I was so happy. Everything turned out so good. My Timbits are finally here and here I am putting the platters together and the kids were so helpful. They helped me do this and then we wrapped them up and I was so happy with the way they turned out. This was the first time I actually did like these kind of platters with chocolates and candies and I think I am going to do this again because honestly, they look so beautiful. I also got these stickers from Timu and it was just the perfect finishing touch for these platters. And that's it for a very hectic night before Eid. At this point, it was already midnight. I was so happy that I was done with everything and now it's time to rest. Eva Bark, everyone. Hope everyone is having an amazing Eid. This is my outfit for today. I just put it together last minute. So the skirt that's separate, the book that's separate. And everything is separate. Didn't have to buy anything. Just put it up in my closet. Same with the girls. We didn't actually have time to go eat shopping. And we did have enough stuff in our closets to kind of come up with the last minute outfit. So that worked out. So good thing was that I did the girls' hair yesterday. I braided it. So they took it out. The hair is ready. Looks so pretty. And had their outfits out already. I kind of had an idea of what I was going to wear. So yeah, we did that quickly after I had an 
eye out for my burta because she wanted to wear it. It's okay, you can wear it next time. It's kind of cool now that Afia fits into my clothes. She really likes to go into my closet and borrow my stuff. I took some shoes for my closet today. Yeah. Yugo Alha this year is on a random Wednesday. So a lot of people don't have the day off. My family, a lot of uh, my brothers are working too. They're probably gonna come after work. And I know Shark's side of the family, a few of the people are working too. Yes, it is what it is. Um, everyone's going to celebrate after work. And that's just how it is with Eid in Canada. And comment down below and let me know how you guys are celebrating today. We're actually running late, so we should be heading out. Let's yeah. go. We're always the last ones there. First stop is going to be my mom's house and it's like an hour away so we had to grab something to eat because we actually didn't have breakfast at home so just did a quick Tim Hortons run, got some bagels and I needed my caffeine so got some iced coffee because it is quite hot outside and the weather today is actually terrible. We have some wildfires burning in Ontario so we are getting some really bad air quality. We actually had to leave our windows open because our AC is not working in our car car and it was actually really bad you can smell the smoke in the air and i'm not sure if you can tell from the video but there is a lot of haze and it looks kind of like fog but it's actually smoke I was actually looking at the news and apparently Toronto actually had the worst air quality in the world on eat day so that was perfect. We do get quite a few wildfires in Canada just because there's so much forest area. We do get them mainly in other provinces. I know Ontario gets some as well but just never as bad as we are getting it this year. Living in Canada we get all sorts of crazy weather but this is the first time experiencing this type of weather from wildfires. It's been like this for a few weeks now. Now, but today is probably the worst day because today we can actually see and feel how bad the air quality really is and after what feels like forever we finally make it to my mom's and I am so excited to eat my mom always makes so much food on Eid and this is a tradition of hers we've been having this since we were little it's beef cooked in spices and then fried it's like fried beef my mom makes it every Eid for breakfast. Huh, it tastes really good. So we've had this since we like were little. Especially for bakar eid, like even Radha. Since it involves a lot of meat, so she always fries chunks of beef. It has a lot of spices. That is really good. My mom making mehari. Yeah, you made it Oh, okay. Never mind, she's warming it up. She made it yesterday. Then my mom's famous biryani. Famous. It's famous, yeah. So this is really good. I'll be taste testing this very soon. At this point, I'm literally doing nothing except checking out what she made. And then these kebabs that she made are going onto the grill. We're usually the last ones to arrive, but for some reason today, since I guess everybody was at work, we were one of the early ones. So I just ran around doing a taste test and here I'm just doing an outfit check because I don't have a floor mirror at home because I broke mine like a year ago. Okay. Just helping set everything up. I'm waiting for the rest of my family to get here. My brothers had uh, work, so they're gonna get here soon. And my sister and I had work. She's gonna be here soon. Everyone else is taking a nap because they woke up really early for the eat prayer, and then they're gonna wake up soon. My mom's uh, wearing a whack just like me. She's camera shy, so she doesn't want to be. Shy? Why are they here? <laughs> Why not then? Oh, she doesn't want to be in the video, so. But yeah, she's she's twinning with me right now. You know, I'm and I are twinning too, with each other, of course, with their beautiful red outfits. And they have matching earrings, very pretty. Let's see how your Mendy turned out. This is their henna, I did it last night. Very nice. The color came out really good because the Mendy's from Pakistan. Mom just warmed up the Nihari. Let's just garnish it a little bit so it looks nice. My mom also made some custard, which I'm not a big fan of custard, but she said this one's really good and it has a lot of fruits and stuff in it. So I guess we'll try it. She also made these chicken tikka that she's putting in the air fryer. And honestly, the chicken tikka in the air fryer turned out so good. You guys should try it.
Okay, this is like for breakfast, right? Huh. And it has chickpeas and potatoes. Huh. Chickpeas and potatoes. This time around, my mom put a boiled egg. Usually she doesn't do that, so that's a little different. And this is what we grew up eating for breakfast on Eid. This and then the beef. This isn't Gurbani made, this is just regular meat from the store. Gurbani here usually what you get on the third or fourth day. Sometimes sometimes like the second day, but usually never the first. Yeah, I'm gonna taste like the chana, um, the chickpea one. Oh, I'm gonna try that. The not sweet. This? Oh. That's really good too. It's like um you know when we get um when we get halwa puri? It's like the salon from Halwa Puri. Halwa Puri is a traditional Pakistani breakfast. It comes with a bunch of sides and it includes the potato chickpea curry that I just tried. All the food is finally coming together. The kebabs are ready. My mom just dished out the biryani, which I'm so excited to try because honestly, she makes the best biryani. You'll see some of my family in the background. That's my brother. For those of you who don't know, I have six brothers, mashallah. And here I am just enjoying a drink. And we only drink on occasions like Eid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's just apple juice. And then my older brother also ordered pizza, which just got here. We obviously have too much food, but sometimes the food gets too spicy for the little one. So we had pizza as a backup. And here is my beautiful lasagna all heated up and ready to go. True story. I didn't even take a bite of that because I was too busy eating my mom's food. Oh, Who's this little boy? And why is he sleeping on Eid, huh? Are you tired? You want what? It's pretty hot. Tell me when the picture is starting to fall. Roman! Oh, oh, oh. Roman! Oh, hyper now. Oh, Please. 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 Let's see what's there growing in the garden. Some chilies. Alright, little brother is growing some strawberries. <laughs> All four strawberries are his to eat when they're ready. Of course. Some mint. He's also growing some corn. Right here. The rest of my family finally arrived and then we ate and enjoyed the beautiful weather in the backyard. This relaxing bit and just spending time with the family is probably my favorite part of Eid. My nephew saw me filming, so of course he had to come and make some silly faces into the camera. What is that? <laughs> and then it was my favorite time of the day, chai time, because we were all dying out a little bit, so we needed caffeine. That's just our chai sitting with some mint that i stole from my mom's garden to take home with me i was enjoying my chai inside and then i realized wait a minute my mom has this beautiful backyard that i could be sitting down and relaxing in people are gonna be like who's that in the background does he have his own youtube channel yeah. <laughs> that's just my older brother sneaking into my video and that's it for Eid day at my mom's. We were actually running a little late, so I took my chai to go with me because we also had to go to my husband's side of the family. The weather has been so strange today and is still looking really weird outside, very smoky. We are on our way to my in-laws and the kids are a little bit tired, so they decided to take a nap in the car. We love spending time with our families, but Eid in Canada is just not as exciting as I am sure Eid in some other countries. So do comment down below and let me know what you guys do and if you guys spend time at home or with family. It is definitely a wish of mine to spend Eid in a Muslim country. I would love for my kids to see that. Qurbani in Canada is very different, I'm sure, to other countries. In Pakistan, you get to buy your own animal and raise it and then sacrifice it on Eid day. But here in Canada, we usually place an order at a meat store. And sometimes, if we're lucky enough, we can actually go to the farm and sacrifice an animal on Eid day. And then they cut it up for us and then deliver it either on the second or third day. Just to give you an idea, a cow share 
this year cost around 400 Canadian dollars. Instead of going to my in-laws, we ended up going to my husband's aunt's and uncle's place because my in-laws and my husband's family was already there. We ended up having some delicious food there and that is how we ended our Eid. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys are enjoying my videos, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything. I hope everybody had a wonderful Eid and I will see you next time.